Hi guys, so um, super excited today. Just arrived at Le Golf National, home to the 2018 Ryder Cup. Um, been very kindly invited by Gavin Green, who are uh, providing the outerwear for the European Ryder Cup team to come and uh, experience the course. We're about a year out from the Ryder Cup now, um, September, early September 2017. So I've been staying in the middle of Paris. It's about half an hour outside of Paris, really easy run out to the golf course, um, just past Versailles. Um, and um, as you can see, I'm pretty terrified. There's a hell of a lot of water around, but um, gonna have some great fun. Go out there now, gonna have a little warm up uh, and then hit the course and uh, I'll report back to you guys about uh, what it was like to play. So guys, just finished up my round at Le Golf National. Uh, enjoyed it. It's a, it's an interesting track. Um, very hard, uh, tough golf course. Um, you can see that from when they play the French Open. I think at the Ryder Cup, it's going to be uh, interesting. It really sets up well for that. Lots of wrist ward holes, lots of water. There'll be lots of uh, a lost ball, some amazing shots, some uh, tight pins where people can take it on and really. Uh, win the hole so um, I really enjoyed it I think it's it's like I said it's a tough golf course if you come to play here uh, bring plenty of balls you're gonna lose a few but you'll have a good time as well key to the golf course absolutely keep it on the fairway wherever you can the rough um, it's quite innocuous in places it looks wide open because there's no trees it's obviously a kind of inland link sort of golf course but you've got to keep it on the fairway if you're gonna get a score together um, the rough's pretty tangly pretty tough uh, and you, you just need to get it back in play uh, and carry on from there so um, gonna be good fun next year I'm looking forward to seeing the guys tackle it the guys play it I think some of these holes will become even more famous they're obviously um, quite famous from the French Open already especially the 18th which is just behind me now uh, I've dunked a couple of balls in in the water there just to uh, finish them off my round uh, it wouldn't be right if I didn't do that I suppose um, but uh, yeah I think some of these holes will become very recognizable and I think the first and second especially um, both lots of water involved, really big amphitheatre um, around those holes. I think they'll be absolutely electric uh, when it comes to the Ryder Cup. So, um, you know, you, when you, if you come and play here, you'll look forward to playing those especially. Um, just a note, there's um, quite a lot of good facilities on site. There's an Novotel uh, right by here, so not, not going to break the bank at all. So if you do fancy coming out here, um, it's pretty easy to get to from the UK. You can drive over, fly over, get the train half an hour outside Paris, like I said. Um, you know, you can just come here, stay uh, not too expensively. If you want something a bit smarter, uh, Versailles in the centre of Paris is uh, is not too far away. So, plenty of options there. Uh, there's another course as well, uh, which we haven't played, but certainly didn't look too testing. Um, maybe gives you a break from the amount of water and lost balls that you're going to have uh, around the Albatross course. So, guys, if you've played it or you're coming to play here, we'd love to know what you think about it. Um, please comment below. If you're watching us on YouTube uh, and you enjoyed the video, uh, please hit the like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>